the first is global the word global has been picked up from the word globe which means involving all countries simply when all countries of the world are actually taken as one that's being global second is globalization when we are talking of being global naturally the next thing that will come is globalization that is integrating the economies of the various countries again it means that not only the people but the economies have started becoming interdependent on each other next is cordis cordi is actually a hindi word which means seashells cordis are the first currency of the indians whenever they traded with the people from outside they used cordis as their currency have you ever seen a cordi i'm sure all of you have seen the seashell next is silk route as the name suggest silk route is in fact a route from where silk was traded since the main item of the trade was silk therefore the route was called as the silk route and this was from china to the west next is spaghetti spaghetti is in fact a type of noodle that's a spaghetti next is el dorado el dorado is a land of fabled gold that is an imaginary world wherein lots of gold rich wealth and prosperity was found is el dorado next is plantation the word plantation means cultivation of cash crops like rubber sugar cane that is when you are growing it in a row the plants that's called as plantation next is corn laws these were the laws which were imposed in britain during this period that is the restrictions were placed on the import of corn and i'll tell you why the restrictions were imposed in the chapter itself what was the effect that was felt because of the import of corn and who were the people who actually wanted the corn laws to be imposed and how did it get abolished next is ecology the word ecology means the study of organisms that is the dependence of one organism on another and also the adaptation to its surroundings that's ecology the study of organism and i continue with the rest of the new words in the next clipping the process of globalization brings in lot of positive and negative effects and also certain things and certain happenings which people had not experienced earlier so the new term the next one is the canal colonies the canal colonies were in fact for the first time used in india in punjab they were those colonies which were now irrigated by canals therefore since the irrigation is by canal so they were called as the canal colonies next is rinderpest rinderpest was a disease it was kind of a cattle plague next is rastafair rastafaria was a jamaican sect that is the people living in jamaica who considered blacks as very important next chutney music chutney music is in fact a fusion of music it's a cultural fusion of music 
wherein the music is influenced by the music of various countries and a new kind of music comes into existence. So, it is a chutney music. Next is Jose. Jose was actually a carnival which was celebrated in Trindabad where people from different sect, religion and segments came together and celebrated it. Next is Kuli. Kuli is again one word which we all understand in India. He is kind of an indentured labor who does not have any rights. Next is Elias. Now remember the Elias and the central pass very important. These we are talking of during the first world war. You see children whenever any war is fought there are two warring powers. There are two powers which actually fight with each other. So, during the first world war we had the allies power and the central power. The allies power comprised of Britain, France and Russia and later on at the end of the world war it was America which joined them. The central power comprised of Germany, Austria-Hungary and Italy and later on it was Turkey which joined them. Remember children one thing very clearly and that is France and Germany have always taken opposite sides during both the world wars. There are few things which are common in both the world wars and the first is France and Germany they are always on the opposite sides and generally it is their fight their internal conflict which leads to a bigger world war and it is always Germany which has lost and whichever side America joins that side wins the world war. During both the world wars you will see that America will come in the end and as soon as it joins a particular group especially it is always joining with Britain and that group wins the world war. Before that then what is America doing? America in fact makes itself very strong that is the economy by selling and supplying all that was required to fight such mighty wars. And it is because of these two world wars that America emerged as the strongest economy of the world. Next is Axis power. Axis power is what we are talking of the second world war. Axis power were those powers which comprise of Germany, Austria and Italy later on joined by Turkey. <coughs> the next word that we have is IMF. IMF stands for International Monetary Fund. Next is NIEO, New International Economic Order. Next is Fixed Exchange Rate and the Floating Exchange Rate. Now remember children, when globalization is continuing, when it has started that means that we have to exchange currencies with each other. It cannot happen that I take a rupee and I go and buy something in America or they get their dollars and they buy something here in India. We have to exchange the currencies with each other. So, these two policies actually have come up and that is the fixed exchange rate and the floating exchange rate. Now, when globalization is there, when this is happening, we need to exchange the currencies of one country with another. Can I carry lot of rupees from India and go and buy things in America? Or can an American buy things in the Indian market in dollars? He cannot. We need to exchange the currencies in order to buy things in different countries. Now, because this exchange has to take place, 
So, two policies have come forward. One is the fixed exchange rate and the other is the floating exchange rate. The fixed exchange rate is in fact fixed by the government and no change takes place on the basis of demand and supply. It remains as it is floating exchange rate. Floating exchange rate is that exchange when lot of fluctuation takes place that is the rate of fluctuation is very high and it depends on the demand and supply of the foreign currency. Well, I start with the chapter in the next clipping.